Um, I'm curious, moving into a new system with Jason Garrett and kind of his track record with what he was able to do with Jason Witten all those years, um, maybe how much you've watched Cowboys film and if you've spoken to Jason at all about, you know, kind of how to elevate your game in this system. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to speak to Jason um, and, and other tight ends um, that's been in the system, but um, just showing up to work each and every day, um, diving in the offense, diving in the film work to help um, learn the scheme and learn things. Um, you just um, you see the the impact um, that it has. Um, you see the greatness um, in Jason Witten and the attention to detail he had and um, and the success he had in the offense. And I'm just trying to do my best to to learn as much as possible and, and to pick up the offense. Uh, as quick Is as possible. there some trait in your skill set that makes you think that you can really elevate your game to the level this in this? Game? Um, I mean, I'm just, I'm just coming in, you know, I'm just going to do, uh, be me, uh, for the offense. Um, I think just getting in and trying to learn it right now, um, is the biggest thing, um, and try to limit the mistakes and, and, and iron out the details, um, and just and get the offense down. Hey, Evan, uh, I guess, how, how are you feeling health wise? And how, how big of a point of that is, is that for you? Cause I know, you know, when everybody, anybody talks about your capabilities, it always starts whether fair or not, like if he stays healthy. Evan can do this, this, and this. Like, how, how are you feeling about your health going into the season, and how much do you want to prove that, you know, that's not the only thing people need to be talking about with you? Um, I mean, I feel great. Uh, you know, I've, I've, had a, I've had a very blessed off season. Um, I've been um, working my butt off and in rehab and, and getting back. Um, and right now I'm just going out and doing everything I can uh, for the team and with practices and, and with the trainers and everything. I'm not really worried about um, what all the other people are saying or this and that. Um, I can only control what – in front of what's in front of me um, each and every day, and that's coming in, working hard in training camp, and learning this offense, and, and being a good teammate and good leader. Going back a couple months, I mean, you were one of the guys who was rehabbing at the facility, right? When mm -hmm. everything went down and all the restrictions, and you guys kind of had to leave. I'm just curious, how did you manage your rehab and keep yourself on schedule? Uh, and was it as challenging as it might appear to kind of keep it going when you went back home? Um, it, it was it was it was an adjustment definitely. Um, I mean, you know, just being comfortable up here in, in our facilities and our trainers, um, and then everything kind of going south and shutting down. Uh, but um, our training staff did a good job of, of making connections um, where where I was at. And I was in Atlanta. Um, I got set up with a rehab facility not too far from my house, so I was able to kind of pick back up. They were able to um, to pick up all the details that I needed, things that I needed, and we were able to kind of keep things in motion. So. Definitely had to make some adjustments, but our training staff here um, did a great job of helping me um, kind of stay on track. Well, one follow-up would just be, were you ever, did you ever doubt that you would be ready for training camp? And presumably now you are ready. How, how ready are you? Um, I had no doubt. Uh, I had my mindset. Um, I had a very, very strong, very aggressive um, rehab. And each and every day I was trying to find ways to get better. Um, and, um, right now, I'm just blessed to, to be back out there running around with my teammates and, and, and having fun and running around, catching the ball and learning this new offense um, and getting ready for this new season. Evan, how you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Um, this is your, what, third new offense in four years with the Giants? Um, third new, you know, new offensive coordinator, new, new system. How difficult is that for a still young player to have no continuity at all to, you know, once you establish something, you have to throw it away and learn something again. And how much has the losing during that kind of made things very difficult on you also? Um, I wouldn't say difficult. Um, I would definitely say um, just some perseverance uh, involved and, and just uh, being uh, flexible with adjustments. Um, and I, I wouldn't say difficult for the losing. I think it's very been very motivating um, to learn this new system, um, to, to, to keep finding ways to get better each and every day um, and start ironing out the things and getting better at the things that are going to help us I'm turning around and win on Sunday. So I wouldn't say difficult, but it's just been a tag and an adjustment. What about just as far as as a follow-up? Um, you know, I'm sure if you go into your second year in a system, you feel that much better. And, you know, there's some players, like you mentioned, Jason Witten, had been in a system for years and years to fine-tune that system. You don't have that luxury right now. So just the challenge of each year not being able to build on what you did previously. Um, I mean, I think that that speaks to, to how hard you work um, right now um, in, this, in this training camp and learning the offense. Um, definitely having that continuity might help, but also just really honing in and honing in on the details and, and trying to find ways to get better each and every day 
right now. Um, that's all I can do and that's all I can worry about. So I'm not really worried about the past or, or what the circumstance is right now. We're in this offense and uh, we have opportunities to come in each and every day and get better at it. And what has been the biggest challenge for you in terms of training camp Thank under these circumstances? I know Dalvin was saying that having to shout across the locker room, he's worried about losing his voice. What has been between social distancing and just the protocols, what's been the most difficult for you or the biggest change? Um, I think, okay. honestly, a honestly, I'm just, I'm just glad to be back in the building. I'm glad to be back around football and with my teammates and, and running around and having fun. Um, it's definitely different uh, wearing masks and social distancing and um, the, the, the logistics of everything going back and forth to the field and the stadium and this and that. But um, I, I kind of take it as a blessing just to be back uh, around, my, around my guys and another opportunity for a football season to go out there and compete. Hey, Evan, what's going on, man? What's up, Jordan? How you doing? No, I'm not bad, not bad. You? Doing all right. I'm just wondering, uh, you say you feel great, but I'm wondering, do they have you limited? Are you full go? Like, how's, how's that working right now? Um, we're not allowed to really get on details. Um, and that's that's some, that's a close judge rule. Uh, but I'm out there with my teammates. I'm running around doing it good and, um, and trying to get better each and every day. On another note, I'm, I'm curious, you know, you they obviously picked up your fifth-year option, right? Uh, you, this is your fourth season now. How much do you view this as sort of like a make-or-break year? Obviously, this is going to determine, you know, where where your future's going, what the contract's going to look like, every, everything moving forward. Um, I'm not really too worried about that right now. Um, we have a lot on our plate with offense and um, all the different things around training camp. Um, all that stuff will take care of itself right now. My focus is – I'm coming each and every day, finding ways to get better, um, fix some mistakes, uh, and, and, and trying to get ready for the season. Evan, I wanted to uh, get your take on this new offense, just to kind of follow up on something that was asked earlier. You, uh, you, you spoke a little bit about this offense, and I'm just wondering, based on what you know so far, how much of this is a change from what you've been asked to do in the past, and how do you like the role that's being carved out for you in this offense? Um, it's it's definitely a, um, it's a good offense um, in my eyes. Um, just the just the things that all the details we have to know and things like that. Um, it's going to help us uh, once we get them all down. Um, I'm really excited about the opportunity to work with Coach Garrett and um, and Coach Kitchens and all the other coaches that are on the offensive side. Um, we're putting in a lot of hard work right now, um, and we have, we just have to continue to do that um, and 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 keep working for the good things to happen. What about, um, again, the, the changeover in role? Is it much different from what you've been asked to do in the past, or have they added some new things to your responsibilities? Um, I mean, tight end in general um, is a very uh, detail-specific position, um, and I don't really want to compare it to other offenses and things like that, but um, just it's definitely a lot um, that we have to learn, a lot of things that we have to uh, iron out, and a lot of details we have to perfect, and um, like I said, it's a, it's a process that we're going to have to come in each and every day um, and keep working out. Thank you. Last one here, Pat Leonard. Hey, Evan, thanks for doing this. Um, two, two quick things. One, can you share with us at least the timeline of when you – how long you were in the boot, when you got out of the boot, when you got to top speed as far as running? Um, I mean, honestly, I honestly can't even tell you. Um, it was definitely – a. Um, uh, it was a long process, especially with everything going on with COVID and this and that. But um, I'm just I'm just glad to be where I'm at right now. Um, I, I don't really, honestly, I can't even tell you. Um, it was just um, a process that that was that was kind of happening. But right now, I'm feeling good and, and running around. The second part of it was just you know you said earlier you want to be yourself, the best ver version of yourself in the offense. How would you describe your game at its top level? Like what? How do you open up an offense? Um, just being, just being myself. I'm using my speed, being physical, um, being a durable player, being available, um, and and coming in each and every day and, and improving on things that need improvement. Um, I think that's the best way to improve. That's the best way to help your team. And that's the best way to help your team win games. Is coming in each and every day and getting better at something. Um, and and that's that's my goal, and that's what I plan on to do for the season.